and liftoff. Six months after the most powerful telescope ever made launched into space, the team inside the Webb Space Telescope's flight control room is preparing to reveal what astronomers all over the world have been waiting for for decades. The telescope's first full color images, which are expected to be light years more impressive than the test images released last month, and will include the deepest image of our universe that's ever been taken. Our view of the universe is definitely going to change on July 12th. Ken Sembach runs the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, home to Webb's mission control, and he predicts the day that Webb's first images are released will be on par with the day that Galileo became the first person to ever point a telescope to the sky. There will be a universe we knew before Webb and a universe we know after Webb. I really mean that. I think our perspective will change. NASA says some of the images released on July 12th still need to be taken. Others have already been captured and are being kept secret. But NASA's leadership has gotten a sneak peek. What I have seen just moved me uh, as a scientist, uh, as an engineer, uh, and as a human being. A sense of awe and, uh, frankly, got emotional. But getting emotional about the telescope is something Lee Feinberg has learned to bury after working on Webb for more than two decades. The telescope's most recent brush with death took place just a few weeks ago when a micrometeoroid struck one of the telescope's massive golden mirrors, which are critical for its operation. Earlier in my career, it might have been a punch in the gut, but what I've learned about um, working on a, on a big project like this is Things are never as bad as they first seem or never as good as they first seem. He was right. The telescope survived the strike. And NASA is now on the verge of handing this $10 billion telescope over to the scientists whose research proposals have been selected for the first year of observations. It is just doing as well as we could have ever hoped, if not better. And so I think the scientists are just going to be extremely happy to use it. And we're going to be excited to see what gets, you know, what comes out of it. Kristen Fisher, CNN, Baltimore.